hello guys motion tutor here and in this after effects tutorial i gonna be teach you how you can create social media counter inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without any further ado let's get started the number we can easily change here so if i want it will be start from 10k to 500k so i can easily change it to here and i can change color i can change speed so like i want this to be end on three seconds now it's ending on like two and a half seconds so i can make it end on three seconds so you can see if i want this to be from up point up so like now you can see i added the pointer here i added pointer where i want to add the pointer it's very easy and it is very like editable so first of all create a new composition 1920 by 1920 30 frames per second and four second long and then click ok and then select the rectangle tool and create a shape something like this and turn off the stroke just fill only and then select the layer press ctrl alt and home key to align the anchor point in ten center and then align the layer in center as well and if you don't see the align tab go to window and click on align tab and then select the layer press enter and change the name to box and then select the layer duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and change the name to pointer and then add a slider controller effect on it SLI slider controller effect and by the way this is FX console which is like browsing the effects from effects and preset panel so you can also search in effects and preset panel or you can search in like this FX console if you don't have FX console you can search the all effects here and then you can select the effect and press enter and change the name to size and then you can just uh, select this and press ctrl c copy and paste it on box so on box select the effect press enter and change the name to roundness so now you can go to this click here and go to properties and delete the stroke we don't need this and go to rectangle path 1 and hold the alt key and click on this stopwatch roundness stopwatch and equip to this to this sl slider and then go to this pointer property rectangle rectangle path 1 and hold the alt key and click on this size and pick up to this slider and change the slider value to 100 not 100 i think 250 yes 250 and press r and change the rotation to 45 percent and then for the box uh, now you can change the roundness to around 100 percent not 100 i think too much 50 percent okay so 50 percent is okay so also you can add point slider also here point control sorry point control not slider add point control here and you can go to rectangle path one hold the alt key and pick whip to this pointer control and change the the first value to 1000 and second value to 900 so the box will be something like this so you can change this name to a size and size now it's okay so now we can create our text so you can simply select the text tool create a text and i am going with uh, gilroy font so you can use any font which you want and then you can go to layer and create a new null object and change this name to control and then you can add a slider control effect on it i am searching here and add slider control effect here and press enter and change the name to start and press ctrl d duplicate it and change the name to end and press ctrl d and change this name to animation start and duplicate it and change the second one name to animation end so now we have four slider control here so now you can go to text properties go to text and in the source text you can hold the alt key and click on this stopwatch and here you can type s space is equal to and e space is equal to and now in s is equal to uh, like after is equal to you can add space and you can go to effects control and you can lock this select the control layer and lock this effects control and now we have two space so add one space and pick up to this start controller and to end to e is equal to you can pick up to this end slider and now you can press enter and i will give you this code 
in description this text in description so you can copy this and paste it in three and like in below to this wall so now we have uh, like now we can control this value how many like likes we want we have 5k why this is not okay so you can see it's 5k and if i increases to 77k now it's so you can see it at the end here is in brackets it's commas in commas here is k so if you want million so you can add million here so like any text which you want here so you can add it so like you can see now it's million so you can change it according to what you want and also we can and here you can see here is 0 0.7 so we can change select this first one speed and change this like pick whip to this start animation start and select the 2.5 the second text second two text select the both highlight the both sorry and then pick whip to this animation end so like what now this will do so like the like where we want the animation to start so like if you add one so the animation will be start from one second and it will be end to three seconds we want so it will start from one to ten and the the start number will be zero and end number will be like 50k so you can see it's very easy and very controllable so like if i want to start it from 1k so it will, will be start from 1k and end on 50k so like we have all controls and if i want it to be like start from 15 frames so i will add here 0.5 so now it will be start from 15 frames and end on 3 seconds so after that we can press select the layer press enter and change the name to number and now you can select the pointer layer and you can move it anywhere you want so like if you want to add the pointer above so you can add it above i want this to be in here so here so like you can see you can simply drag it half in here and half here so after that you can add a heart png like you can google for a heart png or any icon what you want to add like so i made a shape so using pen tool so you can use icon png anything what you want so but uh, i already like created this in shape so i will use this now we will animate him like animate our scene so for animation for making like bouncing animation i am using this ez initial extension i will put the link in description so you can download this and install this as well so go to 10 frame and select the box layer add a keyframe on scale and rotation and after that here you can see s and r for scale and rotation check these two and select the layer and click the on this layer and then you can select the layer and click on apply and so now you can see it's added the three slider here amplitude frequency and decay this is slider where you can adjust the bounce how you want so like now so first of all we will animate this so i will make it 25 to rotation and scale to zero so you can see if i solo it so it's very cool and it will make very easy bouncing animation so after that i will change the frequency to five and the decay to four so now it will be a little bit more cool bouncing so after that the four pointer we will add only scale slider here and we will change the amplitude to 5 and the frequency to 4 as well and we will go to 15 frames or maybe yes 15 frame and add a keyframe on scale i will unsolo it and go to 20 frame add another keyframe and go to first frame and change it to 0 so now you can see we have two animation and in this text animation we will go here and press ctrl alt home key to make the anchor point in center and also add a scale expression here on this text layer and press the s key and add a keyframe on 15 frame go to around 20 frame add another keyframe go to first frame and change this to zero as well and we can change this one to as well five and four and for the heart one you can also add the scale expression and now press s key and go to around 20 frame add a keyframe go to 25 frame add another keyframe go to first frame and change this to zero so change the amplitude for the scale like the icon layer your heart or any icon that you edit change the amplitude to seven or yes seven and change the decay to four 
and change the slider to 2 oh, sorry the frequency to 2 so you can see and select the text layer and forward this keyframe on 20 to 25 frames as well and now go to control and change the start animation start 2.8 so like it will become here so i will change the first one to 0 so it will come to 0k to 50k and change the end animation to maybe 2.5 and i will change this to 100k maybe so you can see so you can align this to center as well or maybe if i want so i can increase the number to maybe 125k so like it's depending on you how you want so our start animation is done so now if you want to increase or decrease the scale size after animating so i will give you a one very cool tip so you can then search for transform effect so you can add the transform effect and you can scale it down here and then you can position it where you want so like we already added a keyframe on the scale so like if you are using icon so it's easier for you to like change the scale just by adding this transform effect so like you don't need to change the scale on keyframes again and again so like you can see now we can change it here and after that we can add kernel controller as well on our controller so add color control controller effect on this layer and select the box layer add a fill effect on it and go to control layer and lock the effects and control for this control layer you can go to this layer select the box layer press e and go to fill go to color hold the alt key and click on this stopwatch and link this to this like color controller and then you can select the fill effect press ctrl c copy and ctrl v to paste it on pointer layer as well so now we can change this color to here so you can see we can also add uh, the second color controller for like the heart and the for the white color so like you can just duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and you can add the same fill effect here on number and you can press press double e to see all the expression and just select the speak whip and pick whip to this to this color controller too and now you can copy the fill effect by pressing ctrl c and paste it on the heart like the heart layer and then you can change this color to white and then we will add a new null object and we can change this name to end for end animation so like you can hide it and put it below and select all the four layers and parent to this to this like null object and if you don't see the parent you can right click column and click on there to see the parent option so now go to 3 second and press s add a keyframe press r add a keyframe on scale and rotation go to last frame change the rotation to minus 25 and change the scale to 0 and then select all keyframes press f9 to easy ease them and then go to graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and then you can make them something like this according to your need so that's it guys and basically that's it and then you can select the all layers and make it blue so it's easy to see which is our like layers for animation and which is our control layers so you can see the animation is guys done so everything is now controllable easy to control and easy to use and guys if you don't understand anything if you have any questions so you can feel free to ask me in comment section and you can also tell me about what you want to learn next about after effects and premiere pro or anything about animation and video editing so guys thank you so much for watching again and if you want this project file so you can get the project files on my patreon page so you will get the patreon page link in description and that's it thank you so much guys for watching and i will be catching you in the next tutorial bye bye